Derek back of the naturopath. Thanks for coming back to our channel. We're talking about omega-3 today. And this video is going to be about omega-3 and yeast or candida problems. Is omega-3 any good? Is a fish oil any good really if you've got a candida problem? Is it going to help? Well, I wrote quite a bit about omega-3 in Candida Crusher. I think it was page 603, 604, 605, around there somewhere. And um, if you have a look, if you've got that book, I spoke about the four reasons why I think omega-3 is a fantastic and in fact best kept secret for people with a candida issue. Everyone talks about antifungals, antimicrobials and you know probiotics and swapping antifungals around and all this kind of weird stuff. But no one talks about fish oil or omega-3 with yeast problems until I started writing about it really in I think 2013. But it's really, really, really good supplement to take for candida for these reasons. One of the key things you've got to remember is all the cells in your body, each membrane of the cells composed of fat. And we know that vitamin E and also fish oil and esters of fish oil, you know, EPA and DHA and derivatives help to build up the cell wall, okay, to make it powerful. So having good healthy cell walls in your body of all the many different cells you got is a very good defense against a yeast problem right the cell membranes get positively affected by fish oil we know that through multiple studies second thing is i like about it is uh point number two is omega-3 reduces inflammatory mediators in the gut it definitely does it has a powerful effect on that <clears throat> studies i've looked at show that that people who benefit from omega-3 orally are people with inflammatory bowel syndrome irritable bowel syndrome any kind of like syndrome or gut problem Omega-3 fish oil is going to reduce inflammation in the gut. And reducing inflammation in the gut leads to systemic reduction in inflammatory markers as well. Now I've verified this many times with stool tests. If we look at inflammatory markers like calprotectin and lysozyme, these actually are positively impacted by taking omega-3 supplements. You can reduce these markers in the gut. You can reduce intestinal inflammation. That's point number two. Point number three is, comes off point number two really is reduction in total systemic inflammation in the body so the immune system is positively affected the circulatory system is positive positively affected many systems are affected to the positive when you take omega-3 fish oil and systemically there'll be an overall reduction in inflammation <clears throat> we know that from the multiple studies that show that omega-3 and its derivatives again works as well as ibuprofen. It reduces inflammation in the body. So why aren't people taking this stuff? That's point number three. Point number four, studies also show that a good quality omega-3 actually kills candida on contact. So it actually kills and eradicates candida. It reduces inflammation. It strengthens our immune system and it strengthens the cells of our body. So a 2010 study I just looked at from Kentucky in the United States, I think I wrote about in my book as well, showed strong correlation in oral health and good levels of omega-3 in the diet. So people with good omega-3 levels have got less bacteria and yeast in their mouth, in their throat. I mean, research validates all this. And this will happen also as it goes down the digestive tract. If you're swallowing omega-3, you're getting it in here, you're going to reduce the mediators, you're going to reduce the bugs and things like that. So those are the four key reasons I really believe that omega-3 should be a standard supplement for people with the candida yeast problem. Thanks for tuning in.